Good morning! <laughs> Welcome back for another travel vlog. This is our last day here in Bohol. We are staying at Bohol Egg Hotel. This is the room. I'm gonna show you later. We have five beds. I'm gonna explain that later. Um, we have five beds and today we are going to, to be gone. So I'm just, I hope I'm saying that correctly. To be gone because we are going to Cebu, Cebu City, yay! And I'm going to talk about for today's vlog how to go to Cebu City via Roro from Bohol and what's the requirements and everything of all about it. Yesterday night, we went to the hospital because one of the requirements going there is an antigen. Thank goodness it's the antigen only, which is the cheaper one. So I took the antigen test and we will be going there this morning before heading on to Tubicon to get the results and hopefully it will be a negative result. But before I leave this room, they are already downstairs because we are already checking out. Before I head out, I'm gonna show you this simple room. It is clean and judging by all the furniture, I think this is a brand new hotel. And here's the room tour. So we rented out the dorm and we have here cubicles to hang your clothes and then we have over here the layout of the room five beds since we are only four uh, i don't know why they did not uncover that they said that don't mess with this ones because we're only four but guys we paid for the room they shouldn't have done that i mean we own the room right we we should we can do whatever we want with this bed Anyway, we have this room, four beds, four single beds, a TV. Their Wi-Fi is good, by the way, guys. And we, we have the router <clears throat> just outside our door. And this is a second floor room. Um, they have free water, but we drank it already. And then the aircon is good, guys. And then this is the bathroom. The bathroom is really clean and very new. So the heater is centralized, the, this one has heater and the toilet is good and clean. And look at their shower, look, those fancy ones. So the heater is really very good and I can't say anything bad about th this hotel. If you want a good budget hotel here in Bohol, check this Bohol Egg Hotel. It is, the room price is 2 two because this I think is family room or dorm, 2 two. 2200 but because of senior citizens i am traveling with three senior citizens we got it for one night by the way guys this is another type of the room so we have two single beds a good space amount tv and a bathroom of course so that's one of the types of room <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit rough for the past few days. I have a tonsillitis, I have a cold, and then I took the test yesterday night. And this will prove that it doesn't mean that if you have a tonsillitis or if you have a cold, that it's already COVID. Guys, it's just a normal flu. People get sick time and time again. So while waiting for the results, I'm gonna show you guys how they took up my nose yesterday night. So we looked for an RT-PCR here in Tagbilaran. We saw in Facebook that here in Ace Medical Hospital or Center, 960 lang sila. Here's my RT-PCR. No, it's an RT-PCR pala. Antigen lang pala need papuntang Cebu. So, yan yung yan, Ally Care. Nakalagay sa Google Maps is Ace Medical Center. 960 lang. We are now here at the Tubigon Court. I'm looking for the fast cab office because that's where we will get our tickets. We have to go out again out of the court because the ticketing office pala ng mga, mga Roro is in outside, which is in the cultural. Cultural, sinasabi nila. So we are still looking for the fast cab. Our 
tickets na. We, our first option is the fast cab. Kaya lang, 5.30 pa yung next na biyahe nila. So there's another company that is running the railroad going to Cebu from Bohol. And it's called Light Ferry. And yung next na biyahe nila is 4 p.m. And 1 hour lang yung biyahe nila. The fast cats have tinanong ko sabi nila. It's 2 hours daw. Itong Light Ferry is 1 and a half hour only. And then the car costs 3250 and then you senior citizen since wala na daw space yung economy nila ang next space nila is the business class which is for senior citizen is 227 and then since tatlong senior citizen ang kasama ko ako nang ginawang driver which is usually and normally free siya sa mga ganito and yung normal rate nila for the Business class is 360, if I'm not mistaken. And dito, 360. And then, if you're a senior citizen, 257 ang ng senior citizen. So, then, nagbay din kami ng, anong pangalan nito? Um, like, town fee, something? Sabi niya? Wait, okay, okay. Oh, my town fee. Five pesos isang per passenger. So, with a total of 4,041 ang binayara na. So we are going to be inside the port again para i process ng PPA, terminal fee, and the Coast Guard. And then we're going back out for lunch. So here's where you will pay the vehicle PPA. Step one, they will assess you of what kind of car you have. And then we talk about the bike. So step three, we got the 129 because we are SUV. And then the last step is for the Coast Guard na matatakan yung ticket mo. Hi po! Ano pong kailangan? Magkano po yung PPA? Senior. Senior daw. Kaya senior. Senior ang apat. Tatlo ang senior. Tatlo pala. Kaya isa lang yun ang dyan. Isa lang yun di senior. Oo. Nag-fill up na kayo ng payload. Oo. Oo.
football hole. That's a lot of people. So we are inside now the ship. This, this is the this is the tourist cabin. I'm gonna show you later the business class. Put it down your economy last so we have no chance but to take the second cheapest. So to cut it all the vehicle fee for the light ferry is vehicle rate for that is three thousand two hundred fifty, and then for the passenger we paid two hundred fifty-seven for the senior citizen, but long senior citizen citizen namin. and then one is for the driver. So hindi na kami nagtatlo ng binayaran namin kasi fee normally ang driver sa mga ferry and auto, and then we went to the PPA. Oh yeah, we also paid, I don't know kung ano to, look at this. I forgot kung anong name niya, parang town fee or provincial fee, pero 5 pesos per person lang siya. And then, um, vehicle PPA is 129 and then for the passenger PPA, free ang mga senior citizen just present their senior ID, but ang normal rate ng passenger terminal fee or PPA is 20 pesos per person lang. So I think that's it, that's our rate. I'm gonna list it all down here and I'm gonna show you the business class. So here's the business class. It's gonna take you. Sabi nila reclining daw yung mga seats. So I forgot something in my car and I found that car like this. All tied up. This is our first time riding the light ferries and I am quite surprised. They are safe clean and very smooth process. We are now in Cebu. We traveled exactly 1 hour and 30 minutes and a little bit more. We have just got and are Sir, direct lang tayo sir. Direct lang. Yes sir. Uh, our room is 209. Two four, two six. I think this side is our wall. Here we go. got the master key now. The first key that they gave us is not yet activated. And since close na yung reception, here's the room. Pinigay na lang kami yung master key. So we have two queen beds or twin beds over here. Nice headboard area. A full length mirror over here. Two chairs that is out of place. There's no window. And over here we have a TV, a desk. Uh, one nice thing about this room is there's a ref and a mirror again. And then here's a cabinet that is dirty. I don't know why there's a plastic over there. 
let's just hide it because the senior citizens are very complaining. Here's the bathroom, guys. There you go. A mirror. Nice little sink. Literally little. Clean the mancha. Clean. We have towels. And this is the shower room. So my heater. And good enough. Clean and good enough. <laughs>